because I just cannot seem to stay in my own country. Also, let me catch you up. Um, basically, I filmed a life update and I'm not gonna lie, I filmed that and then so much in my life changed. Like, life throws things at you when you don't expect it or like, you'll just go through a really bad phase in your life and you're like, why is life just testing me? Like, there's always something to learn from it. So, I literally lied. I am being angry. I just like, who's your favorite system? Hey guys, I'm in Zara. I've got a lot of stuff on my arm right now. Honestly, guys, I have been trying to get my hands on this for so long. And I'm doing a haul. Again, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today, we are actually starting this vlog in a different country because i just cannot seem to stay in my own country we are in spain follow me on tiktok you already know that i'm probably on instagram too you already know where i am and what i've been doing but um yeah i'm gonna vlog the next few days because me and my mum have actually just extended our holiday it was only meant to be here till wednesday and now we have extended it till saturday because why not anyways um we've just picked up the car the flight was okay i'm gonna insert a little tiktok here of my little journey vlog so enjoy that travel to spain with me i rolled out of bed at 3 a.m so there was nowhere else filming a clip of that here's me and my mom pulling up to the airport it was literally 4 a.m i was dead we genuinely had to run for the plane because we thought it was gonna miss it I had a bit of fruit when we got on and this was the views as we was landing i literally fell asleep the whole journey it was literally a 6 a.m flight so don't blame me this was when i put the seatbelt sign on because we was landing oh my god i looked rough and i felt rougher bear in mind i had my birthday night out like the night before this lol then we went and collected the luggage it literally took so long I was reunited with my baby my case by the way guys get an air tag because they're so good and then i strutted through malaga airport on two hours sleep looking fresh and stunning then it was time to go and find the car we was renting and here she is in all her glory pretty sure we've had this exact one before so i had a happy dance because i actually love this car <laughs> only me and my mum so we've got so much space because it's a big old car that's the molly may jacket that everybody has i am a basic b i did get it for my birthday so here was the views as we was driving to our villa got here and obviously watched the football and that's all i videoed bye mum is just currently checking over the car we just picked it up we have a ford cougar and these cars are actually sick here she comes sorry where i am vlogging babe <laughs> mum does not know how to use <laughs> simple apple features so it's a good job she has me anyways we are gonna make our way back to it's currently 11 28 i got up at 3 30 a.m flight was at 6 45 and then obviously we go an hour ahead so it's basically half 10 in england but it's half 11 in espanol we're only here literally for my mom has a meeting basically so that's what we came for but yeah we end up extending our trip because the weather's really nice this week and we was like do you know what f it you're on holiday do you know what i mean i like this car a lot do you want a little car tour let's give you a car tour why not so this is the front of the car and it actually has my mom just scared the life out of me it's speaking Spanish, so I don't know what it's saying to me. But yes, it's got CarPlay, which I love. My car has this at home too. And you basically have like all this stuff that you can do. Um, What the hell? I've never used this in my life. Not not sure what this is about. Anyway, this is the car. I don't know why I'm talking in American accent. She's really cute, actually. I love it. I'm convinced that we had this car last time. I'm not too sure Alrighty. if it's the exact one or similar, but... I think we had this one before, Mum. Yeah. And I've said, I recognise a number plate. I know a number plate when I see one. Joking, I don't. Um, anyway, we're gonna... Are we gonna go shopping before we go home? Uh, yes, I think it might be best to Oh, time. I just wanna go and lay on a sunbed. I don't know, but you'll want food after laying on the sunbed, No, so. I want food now, I'm not gonna lie. I want a pan of chocolate. I'm hungry. Actually, I'm, we've had fruit and that's it. We've not really drank anything either, Dawn. No, we I haven't drank anything at all. I had some water in the car on the way there. So we're gonna go we do have a cup of tea as well. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I'll speak to you guys in a little bit. Vamos! Vamos! Good morning! I literally didn't vlog much yesterday. I was really bad, but we watched football. Say hi, Mum. Watch football, and that was basically that. Like, we just sat around, sat in the sun, watched football, and then that was oh. literally. You sat in the sun, some more babes. That was actually it. So I didn't really vlog much, but um, also we were so tired. Well, I was really tired because I barely had any sleep the last few days. Mum was also really tired because she barely slept the last few days. So we had kind of an early night. Love Island didn't even work. Load in for me. So I've just watched that now, and it's the final tonight. And I'm literally rooting for Kai and Sanam. When I edit this, obviously I'll know who's won. So I'm really hoping it's Kai and Sanam. But I really have a feeling it's gonna be. Ron and Lana for some reason. But for me, ideal order. Kai and Sanam, 
Tom and Sammy, Ron and Lana, Shaq and Tanya. I love Shaq, Tanya lets the team down. Um, so yeah, that's that's my order of Love Island, if I could choose. As you can see, I'm in my gym set. We're gonna go for a walk in Port of Venice and basically just go for a walk and that's that. Is that all we're doing, just walking? Might grab some food over there, but we're going for dinner tonight, so I don't want to eat out too much because I'm trying to be healthy, hence why I'm going on a walk. But yeah, um, I'm going to get an Instagram picture, so go follow my Instagram because hopefully you'll see the Instagram picture that I'm manifesting when I get today. Um, but yeah, that is my day, and I'm going to take you along, so let's go to Porta Manus. Okay hey guys, we have just done our walk. We've probably been walking, what, like an hour, 45 minutes? Mm. Quite a while. And um, we're heading back to the car now. It's so hot, it's beautiful, I'm not complaining. Um, but we need to go to a little food shop, so that's where we're heading now. Woo. So this is our current view. Absolutely stunning, darling. Good morning, everybody. Um, I actually forgot to take my camera out last night, but I'll insert a video of my food because it was so good. Oh my god, so good. So yeah, here's a video of my food. I literally look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards because I basically have. No, I'm joking. I literally just woke well, up about an hour ago now. Um, I actually had a good sleep and I've not had a good sleep like that for like almost a week. I'm not even joking, so I'm really happy with that. But I basically am having a chill day today. But we're basically going to extend our holiday till Saturday. But like, there's some things that have come up, so we might not be extending it now. Um, and like, even the car we've rented, we have to go all the way back to the airport to swap it. Um, which isn't like the end of the world, but it's just like long for the sake of a couple of days. So, currently just sorting that out and deciding what we're gonna do. But I thought I'd vlog today. Obviously, I just need to vlog more because I've been terrible and I'm really sorry. Apologies about that. Um, Love Island, Kaya Sanam won, so happy. I'm gonna insert my reaction right now. The winners of Love Island are... Please. Kaya Please. 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 No, they don't, yeah. We're not that far behind. Please. So obviously I'm so happy Kain Sanan won, woo! Um, I was really shocked how that Tom and, Tommy, my, I can't speak, Sammy and Tom, Tom and what? Tom and Sammy, it sounds so wrong if you say Sammy and Tom. Tom and Sammy didn't get top two, but I literally kind of not surprised at all, like I thought Ron and Lana would be in the top two. I wonder how close the votes were actually, but yeah, I'm just so happy Kain Sanan won. So, I think we're having a chill day today, but obviously it depends if we're going home, what we're gonna do. Not too sure. Amelie does have a PLT live later, so I'll vlog when I'm watching that as well. But I think I'm gonna get in a bikini and then just go sit in the sun because I want to soak up some rays. Oh, good morning, by the way. <laughs> just got out of the shower and I finished working so basically I need to start getting ready for shopping spree Woo! and yeah if you know my Spain room well basically we don't really have set Spain rooms I don't really know how to explain but basically we have two rooms that we kind of go between but because it's just me and my mum like we want to be on the same floor so I'm currently in my OG Spain room but if you know this room I do film a lot of content mainly in here I'd say because it's more to film and um, even though the other room's bigger but i have a new tv on my wall so love that for me but we're gonna do a little quick get rid of me have a little chat um this is my favorite foundation brush by the way i feel like i spoke about it once before i don't know if it was on tiktok or on here but it's so good i want to go shopping today because they have sephora out here i'm also adding some shot tilby airbrush i've definitely burnt my nose so that's gonna be fun to cover i want to do some shopping i want to go to sephora i got some birthday money and i just feel like you know when you just feel like you want to treat yourself like i just feel like i want to treat myself i'm going to do a little clothing shopping spree like mainly zara because i just need to get some like staples and in spain fun fact if anyone's going to spain this year or like 
ever um because zara is like from like it's a spanish brand like they make all the stuff here you actually can buy a lot of stuff cheaper here than in england so i think my friend was saying something like you know like the bodysuits and stuff that are like 12.99 at home like all the little staple tops that are like 12.99 she was like you can literally get them for like half price here so i'm gonna go and have a little shop and just get some staple pieces because i literally have zara hauls all over my for you page all the time and i just never really like can be bothered to look at home but i'm really in the mood to do a little bit of a shopping spree so i'm gonna do that with my mom we're that's the plan for tonight and we're gonna go to a restaurant i don't know if you guys have ever been to my way ever before either but there's a restaurant called picasso's and if you like search online you probably like if you've been to spain or like been to my bay you will know because every time you walk past like on my life there is this fat queue like there is genuinely like a weight that's got a mask and no other places really on like port venice has a big weight like it's very rare like, unless it's a really busy summer's day or like i don't know but like you don't normally catch queues there but picasso always has some fat queue so my mum was like why don't we go there because obviously it's out of season it'll probably be quieter and we can just go and try it although we've definitely been there before but like she was like we can just go and like go there because we never really get to go because as i said like it's always busy there um so we don't normally tend to pick to go there but I was like, yeah, it's a good idea. But also one of my favorite restaurants is on that strip. So if it's really busy, we're just going to go there. So really two good options. Also, I'm going to give you guys a haul. Um, don't know if I'll do it tonight or tomorrow. But we're actually flying home tomorrow now. So I'm a little bit gutted because I wanted to stay here, obviously, as long as possible. Because I love... I love being out here like it's I don't know I just I feel like I'm more grateful for it like as I get older when I was younger I was kind of just like yeah I'm staying whatever but like I feel like it's I'm so much more grateful for things like this nowadays like I feel like I'm definitely you can tell I'm turn, like turning 22 or turn 22 because I'm just such an old little salt heart I don't know how long my mum's meeting is going to be um it's currently what is the time actually 5 35 so I've literally been sat in the sun like probably about five hours today so i can't complain but yeah as i said we're going home tomorrow but our flight's late so it's kind of good um we basically get like the whole day and then we go to the airport but i would have loved to have stayed a little bit longer but you know life goes on also let me catch you up um basically i filmed a life update and i'm not gonna lie i filmed that and then so much in my life changed like before that video even went live my life had literally been flipped upside down so basically <laughs> okay let me just give you a rundown. My new car, I have now cancelled that one. Well, I haven't actually cancelled it. I need to cancel it. And I've now put a deposit on another car. So that is that update with the car. So that will be here in May. Um, hopefully, if everything goes smoothly. My job that I said I had, I actually don't have. Um, yeah, that kind of flipped on its head like very quickly. Basically, like, I'm not going to go into details, but like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll tell you the truth about that. But like... Just a very weird thing happened and yeah, now I'm not taking that job. So that is that, that's the update. I don't actually have a job anymore. And when I said, <laughs> I don't have to search for any jobs anymore. I lied because I'm back on that. And I actually have two interviews this week. So back on the job pun. Um, it was nice while it lasted the whole two days while I thought I was gonna be employed. But you know, I think in life, everything happens for a reason. I trust, I honestly do trust that. Like, I believe it a lot and I don't, I feel like all people say is like, oh, everything was already, like, it's really boring when people just say it over and over. But like, honestly, like in like six months time, I'm going to look back and be like, I definitely, that definitely happened for a reason, you know? And I look back on a lot of things that at the time made no sense to me. I was like, why is somebody treating me this badly? Like, why is this happening? Why do I never have any luck? And like, now I look back, I'm like, thank God, because now I've got something better. Like, so I just always trust the process. And I sound like a broken record, but like, I genuinely think like when you're going through something obviously if, like a big thing happens like it feels so heavy but like i honestly just want you guys to know like like life throws things at you and you don't expect it or like you'll just go through a really bad phase in your life and you're like why is life just testing me like but there's always something to learn from it so i just think don't worry about life too much it will work itself out everything always works itself out for me and like i've really realized that um growing up so yeah if i can share some wisdom with you what else has changed oh top fest i said i'm not doing a meet and greet <laughs> i literally lied i am doing a meet and greet so at the time i filmed that video i wasn't doing a meet and greet and then because i like 
because I said I'm only going to do one night, I then panicked. One night, one day, I mean. I panicked because I had so many DMs like, um, are you doing a meet and greet? I really want to meet you, blah, 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 blah. And then like, I was reading through my DMs and there were so many of you guys asking. And I was just like, everyone's asking to do meet and greet. And like, if I'm there two days, I wouldn't have done a meet and greet. Like, I don't back myself. Like, I know I'm not. I'm not on like Amy's level or like other people's levels. But like, yeah, I... <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm only going to be the one day now. And all these people were saying about it. And I was just like, I need to make sure that I can meet as many of you guys as, like, want to meet me. You know, I don't want to upset anyone. I don't want to disappoint anyone. So I was like, the best way to do it is get the meet and greet. And then the people that really want to meet me will meet me at the meet and greet. And then anybody that doesn't get me in the meet and greet or, like, whatever, hopefully you'll be able to catch me during the day. So I am doing a meet and greet. So if you haven't done your ballot, I don't know when it closes, but make sure you do it soon. I'm sure. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. I wasn't lying in that video about all this stuff, by the way. It sounds like I literally just sat there, filmed a 30-minute video that was just full of actual BS. But I promise you, <laughs> things just really change quick in my life like i actually can't believe how quickly some things change and i'm like oh yeah this is so going so well and then literally the week after it's going completely the opposite and then like other things like i'm like oh this is not going so well and then the next week i'm like the opposite so like i don't know life is just very roller coaster right now um but yeah i just wanted to like inform you because obviously if you've watched my life update you're gonna now be really confused about all the stuff that's coming out or like when i don't start my job you're gonna be like what but it's just i'm starting really soon and like i don't know life is just crazy but i just wanted to inform you of my updates that's basically i filmed a life update and before the life update actually come out my life had more updates and i feel like honestly i could do a life update every week and you'll be like oh my god her life is actually changing every five minutes so yeah that is my life update from my life update from literally one week ago. So just to keep you guys in the loop. Let me know if you want some videos of my sister soon, by the way. I kind of want to do like an update who knows me better. Um, I'm thinking of doing that in the next few weeks. Obviously, Robin's not really been on my channel a lot, but um, I obviously literally am really close to both my sisters and I feel like I don't really show Robin as much. And there's actually no reason for it apart from the fact that like I feel like I spend a bit more time with Emily because... We normally live permanently together, whereas Robin kind of doesn't live there full time. Um, but yeah, that's literally the only reason. I do have two sisters, if you didn't know. And I love them both very much equally. And yeah, I always get questions like, who's your favourite sister? I'm like, bro, I don't have a favourite sister. I love them both exactly the same. Like, I can never have a favourite sister. I'm just, just not that girl, you know? Also, what do we think of TikTok doing 10 minute videos, guys? Like, do you think that's too long? Like, I understand it, but they've gone from three minutes to 10. Like, I feel like TikTok should be limited to five. I think five would be the perfect amount because I just think someone occupied on TikTok for five minutes is hard. Like, even three minutes. I always, I'm guilty. Like, I will speed up someone's video that's three minutes because I personally can't really, I don't go on TikTok to sit and watch somebody religiously. Do you know what I mean? Like, I go on TikTok to scroll and like see different videos and like taking different content like i don't know personally i don't i don't know how i feel about it so let me know what you guys feel i'm also gonna crimp my hair so i will literally be five minutes doing that and then i've got to join Amelie's live so i will speak to you guys when i am leaving a little bit later here's the finished makeup and i need to get an outfit next time i vlog i'll be finding an outfit so i'm just gonna go do my hair and i'll be back with you guys Insta, there she is my girl get a follow back so make sure you do um obviously being a supportive sister and i'm just liking the live and she's doing so well but her. she's so good at this she's such a natural I had a bit of a mare because i wanted to crimp my hair or like wave my hair and then i realized that the tool that i thought i had i didn't actually have so i and it was basically like frizzing my hair rather than crimping because it was like a really small one and then i was like no not feeling it so i've actually curled it with mark hill and let me show you this way. I actually think it looks quite cute, so I'm actually quite happy with it. It looks different to like my normal curls, so I'm quite happy because I always seem to use the same two colours, so switching up makes my hair look a little bit different. But yeah, just watching her live, literally so proud of her. Honestly, I know I said it earlier, but I'm so proud of her. Um, I need to pick an outfit for tonight. Obviously, I have quite a lot of outfits because I thought I was staying till Saturday, so I need to actually pick a good one. I'm thinking like a cute little dress moment or like a corset and some shorts. I think I might wear, I might wear this black corset with some white denim shorts. Here. So these are from Boohoo. 
and then the course is <laughs> PLT. Also, um, I'm not sure if Amelie's code will still be live, but if you guys are shopping from PLT anytime soon, the code is Ami25. So make sure to try it, and obviously, you might be able to get some money. I'm thinking it will look cute. Um, I'm not sure. Or black shorts, maybe. Let me have a look. I'm all ready now. I just need to get changed. Um, I also want to buy a perfume tonight. I don't know if they're going to have it, but I really want to buy the Ariana Grande vanilla perfume. I just don't think they're going to have it here because I don't really have like a super drug equivalent in Spain. And also with this, I'm going to pair it with my Zara Molly May jacket because it's not cold, but I'm going to bring it anyway and just like put it over my shoulders because maybe a little bit later because my arms are exposed, my legs are exposed. I might get a little bit cold. So yeah. I'm gonna quickly get change, or do I just wait till my mum texts me? I wait a little bit longer, and then when mum texts me, I'll get changed. Um, but yeah, this is the makeup and the hair all done. That is the outfit I'm gonna be putting on. I can't wait to go shopping. Literally so excited. I don't even like going shopping, but you know when you like you have things in your head you want to buy, it makes you want to go like so much more. So I'm excited. Also, I'm gonna wear my black sunglasses from Quay or Key. I don't know how you say it. I say Quay, but people say it's Key, so I'm gonna say Key Quay. I don't know. I actually got some new ones coming soon from there. They actually gifted me some more. Like, I honestly don't think I'll ever use any other sunglasses. They're so good. So, yeah, I'll show you them when they're on as well a bit later. But for now, I'm going to go watch the live and be a supportive big sis. You hey guys, mum took a long, lot longer than I expected. So it's currently Sorry. eight. We have not had dinner yet. We have not, what was I going to say? We've not eaten yet and we've not gone shopping yet and it's 8 o'clock and it all starts at 10. But we're not actually very hungry, we're just saying that we're not hungry. So we're going to go do shopping first and then go get food. Because once you shop I feel like you always get hungry anyways. Um, so yeah, we're currently in Porta Banus. I want to go Sephora, I want to go Zara. I feel like I've never been shopping this late in Spain in my life, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, yeah, I'll update you when we're shopping. Guys, if you know Porta Banus, you probably would know this place. Say hi mum. And I've never seen this quite in my life. Like, honestly, it's like a ghost town out here. Barely any cars, barely any people. Like, in the summer, this place is ramo. It's El Corn Glaze. Actually, where are we going to go first? Zara or Sephora? Um, Can we go Zara first? Yes. I reckon it's like in Zara. Because I want to spend my money majority in Zara. But then if I have some money left over, I'm going to Sephora. Hey guys, I'm in Zara. I've got a lot of stuff on my arm right now. Oh, I'm thinking about an outfit for top and I really want to get like this kind of like charcoal-y like grey I want to get like an oversized tee and then wear it with boots but the extra large in here literally I mean sorry they don't even have extra large but the large comes literally to like here so it's literally no point but I want to find a Zara man and then try and find this top in there because obviously their sizes would be a little bit bigger but yeah quite successful I've got quite a lot obviously I said I'll give you a call when I get home but so far, so good. Let me see, guys. I have been trying to get my hands on this for so long, and I literally have none in here. As always, nothing. Um, and I also wanted to get a new blush from here, but they also have none of them, so really not great. But I did find the fancy lip gloss that I wanted, so I'm gonna get this. This is Fussy. Hey guys, I've got garlic bread with cheese to start and a Coke Zero. Mum's gonna steal one of them and she's also got a Coke Zero. And we're doing half and half for food. And we are at Cato's on the... It's not a thing one, is it? <laughs> what is it? It's a... Uh... Pork. What on the pork? Cato. Hey guys, we've got margarita pizza and lasagna to share. So we're gonna do half and half. And I'm gonna be very happy going. Literally, I just slightly eat my start and then they throw up my food. That literally took about two minutes. Anyway, yeah. Shooting stars, all of the lights, all of the lights. The boys are liars. His girl is a bum to me. Good evening. So we are about to do a. We're doing a haul. Mum also has a haul. I'm not going to do the haul. Mum's not doing a haul, but she spent more than me actually. Here's my haul. Okay. Um. By the way, guys, the Zara jacket. I know every single girl in the whole UK has it, but. It's actually really nice, so if you don't have it, just be basic, like everybody else can get one. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so I've got some few things for work, and I also got just some basics because can't go wrong. So I've got this blazer, which is like a yeah, actually, it's like a khaki, is it khaki? Kind of like a greeny khaki color. Like a yeah, like the color of an olive. There's a blazer that was 40 euros. Um, I think it was down from how much, mum? 60. Oh my god, 
normally 80, normally 79.95, and I got it for 39.95. That makes me feel even better. We've got this, which is just a plain, again, like, that would kind of go nice with that, kind of like an olivey grey. I actually can't tell. It's a grey colour. Yeah. Um, this is just like a basic top. Um, you know, can't go wrong with those. Quite good materials, like quite thick. This was 12.95. So a little bit more on the pricey side for a basic tea, but I feel like all of them in England are like 15 and they're like that. So anyway, got another little basic, which is basically that top that everyone and their nuns have. Um, I got it in this gray color, which I don't think I've ever seen in England. Again, just easy to wear with like joggers, cargos, all of the above. Just got this basic black top that mum literally swears by. She's like, you need one in every color. So I've got one in every color basically. Um, got this one here, which is again, just a basic gray staple. I like that color gray though. It's like a nice light gray. Mm. And then I've got another bag. And then I got this, the same top in white, as I just said. And I also got it in nude, just for like under things. Why are you staring at me like that? Okay, okay. okay. go to dad and I'll ring up. I'm going to bed after. Oh, I'm not going to bed. <laughs> YouTube doesn't need to oh, know. I'm a bit burnt. Look how burnt I look. Oh, Anyways, um, I also got this like, it's really long. It's like kind of like a cream colour. And I just thought for spring, it'd be really nice like over work stuff. If I have a job by spring, we won't. Anyway. It's very nice. Yeah, mum sold this to me. And this one was 39.95. So I thought that was pretty good. So that is everything I got. From Zara, and then I obviously got the lip gloss that I showed you earlier, which is in my bag. Don't know where it is. And I also got this cleanser, which I've heard so much about. Um, so I'm gonna give it a go, and yeah, I'll keep you updated. I've literally wanted to try English for ages, and then it was 11.99 in there, so I was like, it's quite a big boy. And also, I forgot to bring a cleanser, so I thought, perfect. Any excuse to buy a new one? So yeah, that is everything I got today. Good little haul there. Oh my god, this box is broken, so it's great. And I don't know how I'm gonna get it home because I don't have much luggage. It will be fine. I'm gonna leave some bits here. But mum's really so, good at packing, so she can do it. So we will get it all in. I will speak to you guys in the morning. Bye! Hey guys, I'm at the beach. Um we just had a massage on the beach, which was really nice. Me and Mum both had one each. This is the current view. Oh my god, I didn't realize there were so many people over there. <laughs> Got a little cove moment. So cute. That is the update for now. I'll update you when we're having some lunch. Guys, we've come to Mitchell Beach. I've got a cheeseburger. I've not had a burger since I've been out here. So obviously I have to get one of those. There's some french fries. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mum's got some sushi, so I'm definitely gonna steal some. <laughs> we're at Mitchell Beach. So warm and beautiful. We're gonna enjoy our lunch. My last supper. Hi guys. Um, I don't know how much you can see of me, but Mum, give me some light. This is the number for the dog warden. Anyway, um, <laughs> we've just taken off and we're on our way home. So I'm gonna end this vlog here because the Spain done, done and dusted. She has a nice sunburnt face. Yeah, I have a really sunburnt face, but good job you can't see me. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and there'll be another vlog next Friday. So I'll see you there. Bye.